Disclaimer. Please forgive me now for there may be mispronunciations in this video. Goblins are mischievous sprites or gnomes, who are small and grotesque in appearance. Today we are talking about four different goblins or trolls from around the world. Redcap is a murderous dwarf from English and Scottish folklore. They are said to inhabit ruined castles that are found along the border of both countries. They murder travelers who stray into their homes and dye their hats with the victim's blood, from which they get their names. Those who do walk into their lairs would have been ambushed with heavy stones dropping from above or ran through with their pikes. Redcaps must kill regularly because if the blood staining their hats dries out, they die. Regardless of the heavy iron pikes they wield and the iron shod boots they wear, they are quite fast. Outrunning one of these goblins is supposedly impossible. They are depicted as a short, thick-set old man with prominent teeth, skinny fingers armed with talons like eagles, large eyes of a fiery red color, bristly hair streaming down his shoulders, iron boots, a pike staff in his left hand, and a red cap on his head. There is a tale of a red cap living in Perthshire, a room in Grantley Castle at which he bestows good fortune on those who see or hear him. One of the most famous of these goblins was Robin Redcap. In the 1300s, Hermitage Castle in Roxburghshire was the home of Sir William de Sulis. He was a cruel and evil man who, according to legend, practiced the black arts, which gained him a familiar spirit, a red cap named Robin. Hermitage Castle was filled with murder, torture, and rape. The locals would stand no more and rose up against their cruel tyrant. However, Robin Redcap gave William a power at which he could not be harmed by lance and arrow, sword, and knife, nor ropes could bind him. The king of the Scotland's army took arms against Sir William and captured him by rolling him up in a sheet of lead. The king wanted him to be put to death, and so Sir William was taken to a circle of standing stones. Nine Stained Rig, just outside Hermitage Castle, a huge cauldron was set inside the ring of ancient stones, and a great fire was lit beneath. They plunged him into the cauldron, red and melted him, body, lead, bones, and all. With his master gone, Robin Redcap disappeared. There is now said to be a massive treasure which lies hidden in Hermitage Castle, and the terrible sprite has been seen several times over the years, presumably still watching over the treasure. To rid yourself of a Redcap, you can use holy words, and on hearing the recitation of passages from the Bible, the Redcaps would flee, leaving behind one of their teeth. Another way is to brandish a cross, at which he will explode into flames. He would always leave behind a tooth after this as well. Kobolos is a hominid creature from Greek mythology. The word Kobolos translates into English as impudent rogue, mischievous rascal, or evil spirit. They are also seen as sprites and are mischievous creatures that are fond of tricking and frightening mortals. They are companions of Dionysus and could shapeshift as Dionysus. According to one myth, they robbed Hercules while he slept. He captured them in revenge but took pity on them when he found them amusing. In one version of the myth, Hercules gave them to Lydian Queen Omphali as a gift. Parents used tales of the Kobolai to frighten children into behaving. The Chanake comes from Aztec folklore. Its habitat is the jungles. He's a small hominoid that steals souls and causes travelers to become lost. He is also considered a guardian and a force of nature. They were both feared and revered. To retrieve the souls they stole, they would scare the souls out of the body of the trespassers and then bury it underground. The only way to recover the soul is to undergo a specific ritual. Otherwise, the victim will fall ill and die. As mentioned, they also like to lead people astray, making victims wander mindlessly around the jungle for days. In order to escape them, one must wear his shirt inside out. Coming from Mopanoeg folklore is the Powagi. The name means people of wilderness. Said to be two to three feet tall, the Popowagi resembles a human but with enlarged noses, fingers, and ears. Their skin is described to be a smooth gray, and even so, to glow in the dark. They wear clothing made out of things from the wilderness. In Native American lore, the Pokawogi can appear and disappear at will, transform into a walking porcupine, lure people to their deaths, use magic, create fire at will, 
control the souls of the Native Americans they have killed, and they also use poison arrows. If you see a Pukawagi, it is best to leave it alone and leave as soon as possible, for they are known for kidnapping people, pushing them off of cliffs or attacking their victims with short knives and spears. It all began with the creation giant named Moshap, whom the Wapanoag believe created Cape Cod. He was loved by the people and because of this the Pukawagi were jealous of him. The Pukawagis tried to help the Wanapoge, but their efforts were backfired and instead they decided to torment them. The natives asked Granny Squanit, also known as Moshop's wife, for help. Moshop captured as many as he could, shook them until they were confused and tossed them around New England. Some died, but others landed, regained their minds, and made their way back to Massachusetts. Moshop and his wife would disappear before they would return, and once they came back, they began kidnapping children, burning villages, and forcing the Wapanoag deep into the woods killing them. When Moshop and his wife returned, Moshop was too lazy, so he sent five of his sons out to fix the problem. The Pukawugis lured them into deep grass and shot them dead with magic arrows. Wanting vengeance, Moshop and Squanit, they attacked and killed many, but some escaped and scattered through New England again. The Pukawugis were returned, tricking Moshop into the water and shooting him with their arrows. However, some legends claim that the little goblins killed Moshop, and others say he was discouraged and depressed about the loss of his sons. Either way, Moshop disappears from the Wapanoag mythology. Nowadays, people are reported encountering the Pukawogis in the Freetown Fall River Forest, which includes the reservation of the Wapanoag Nation. They are also rumored to be seen living near West Virginia's haunted Moundsville State Penitentiary, as well as Round Rock, Texas. What do you think of these four goblins? Did you like this video? Want to support this channel? Feel free to check out my Patreon page where I create content on cryptids, hauntings, alien abductions, serious killers, and much more, including getting early access. Can't support me there? Like, comment, and subscribe here.